variations we're going to cover today. The first two variations you can see here use pebbles as your foundation. A sand dollar is divided into five sections. So one option is simply to go and make straight lines in towards the middle, touching or nearly touching each edge. into five sections. The trick, you know, is can you talk and count to five at the same time, if you're me? Moving around like so, all right? Now, the second variation is we can actually add a continuous curve flower here in the center. So we make half a curve. One, two, three, four, one more. And then finish this, we'll travel a little bit and then add another two, three, four, five, whoop, travel a little, add another. Now you can see these actually look pretty cool all mixed together. And notice I'm not worried about my little flowers in the middle being perfect. Okay, let's see if I can zoom this in so you guys can see. None of these are perfect. These are all a little cattywampus. These are all about texture. You could do these um, pretty small the way that I've been drawing them, right? or you could do them pretty big the way that they look when I blow them up, all right? If you're doing these lines, you probably wanna decide, am I retracing or am I not? But when it comes to these continuous curved flowers, we generally wanna to try to make them meet in the middle as much as possible. But if they're a little funky coming out from that, just consider it personality, all right? Now, our third and final variation that we can do here is actually rainbows based. So just like we would be doing rainbows, make our arch, if you're working on an iPad in Procreate, remember that you need to periodically uh, pick up your pencil or it gets a little nervous about what you're doing. Let's try this again. All right. And then you can echo out, okay? And just like rainbows, I like to kind of change up where this is. So I go to the middle. I make kind of the three three of the five little sections that we might see on a sand dollar. And then add another echo, because if you've ever looked at a sand dollar up close, there's like the smooth part that kind of domes up in the middle, but then there's like some texture around the edge. All right. And so we add that little echo to show where there's texture around the edge. And these can stack on each other just like normal rainbows, okay? So two variations. You're gonna get totally different looks depending on which one you're working with. Uh, but let's go ahead and take each of these. Ooh. See, I'm trying to be fancy and move this and it's not working. And let's go ahead and get on some fabric and check out how these stitch up. Okie dokie, here we are on a practice sandwich. Now y'all know I love to get as much practice as possible out of a practice sandwich. So we've got some ginkgo flowers down here and we're gonna fill in some sand dollars up this away. Now I'm gonna start with those pebble variations that we talked about and I'm gonna work fairly large. Let me reach over here and grab my gloves actually. My hands are gonna vanish into this navy fabric but that's okay. All right, so I start with a pebble or more like a bubble in this case, and we're gonna go in towards the center. And we're gonna make those five lines And the nice thing is, is you don't actually have to retrace that last one, okay? You just finish on your fifth and then you go straight into your next sand dollar. Now, if you wanna add an extra echo around each of these for that edge that we talked about, that is totally fine. Totally up to you. Remember, it's okay if these are a little cattywampus, not perfectly spaced, et cetera, et cetera.
and just going in and out nice and even, like evenly paced. They don't have to be perfectly evenly spaced, right? You can see we're getting a nice little stack of little sand dollars. Now let's take a look at what happens if we switch and do that continuous curve variation. Now you could do these really tiny as a little tiny background fill on a beachy quilt. That would work too. Or we can do them nice and big like I'm doing them here. It's totally up to you. Now this one, notice I started where I began. So I'm gonna retrace around the outside to come over here and start my next one, okay? Oh, I got that one pretty even. Look how nice that is. And again, going to retrace around the outside to be down a little bit before I add my next. Like so. So here we have two pebble or bubble based uh, sand dollar designs. Let's take a look at what happens if we do that third option, which is more uh, the rainbow based option. So we're going to make our arch shape. And we're going to come to the center and we're going to make three kind of long narrow loops to be part of that sand dollar. Kind of like if we're doing ginkgo flowers and we want to add embellishments, right? And then we echo this shape. I'm going to retrace back up just a little bit and I'm going to do it again. Now, these we may want to think of them being a little bit closer to half circles than when we're doing regular rainbows. It's just totally up to you if you want to feel like your sand dollars would be very round in real life or if you're okay with them, you know, being a little bit funky. Everything in my life is funky, so if my uh, sand dollars are a little cattywampus, so be it. Now, I want to come over towards my right with this last one, so I'm going to come this way to echo. Right? Notice how I can just kind of pile these guys on top of each other. Just like we do with rainbows. But just adding that little bit of embellishment. There you have it, rock stars. Three lovely ways to make sand dollars.